Welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC Experts here at Rise Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today, we're going to talk about updating and registering the NX series by Spectrum. First thing you'll want to do with your brand new NX radio is to register your radio. By doing so, you're going to spectrumrc.com. Once you're there, if you have not signed up, sign up. You'll fill out the information listed. Once you have done that, you'll log in. Once you've logged in, you'll go to My Spectrum. Then you'll go to Register New Products. Once you're there, you'll see your information. Double check to make sure it is correct. Now you'll want to get your transmitter ready. Once you have your radio, go and power it on. When it's powered on, you'll want to go to the function list and go to System Setup. So you're going to click your scroll wheel. Go all the way down to the bottom to System Setup. And it'll ask you if you want to uh, disable your RF, and you're going to hit Yes. Now you're going to want to go to the very bottom on System Setup here to USB Settings. And once you get to the USB Settings, you're going to click your scroll wheel. Now it's time to plug your transmitter into your computer. We'll do that by using a standard USB cable. You plug that in through the back of the transmitter. And you'll plug it into your computer. Being hooked up, now it's time to allow the computer access to the internal storage of the radio itself. You're going to scroll down to internal storage. You're going to click the scroll button to click on it. There you have it. Now you're allowing the computer access to the internal storage on the actual transmitter. Now it's time to take the final steps to register your brand new transmitter. You want to go to models, select the transmitter you just purchased, or even have. Today we're gonna to do the NX8. If you'd like to give it a nickname, please do so. We'll just make ours NX8. How many are you gonna register? The date you received your transmitter. Where did you hear about your transmitter? If you bought it or got it as a gift. And where did you purchase it? Now it's time to actually upload the serial number. You'll do this by hitting select. And earlier you granted access to the internal storage of the transmitter. This allows your computer to pull the serial number out of the transmitter. So you'll go to My NX8, double click this. As you see, it puts My NX8 right here. Now what you want to do is upload. This will allow you to get the actual serial number out of the transmitter. You want to scroll down to the bottom here about My Products you will notice there is a serial number now. That serial number is to the serial number that you're trying to register right now. To finish that, you'll want to come down to the bottom. You'll want to fill this special code out to show that you are a human. Once you do that, hit register. There you have it. Your transmitter is registered and ready to go. Now when it comes time to update your transmitter to the latest firmware, all you have to do is go to SpectrumRC.com, log in, go to My Spectrum. Here you can see all the items you have registered. You're going to pick the item that you want to update. We're going to do the 6, so the NX6 here. Go to Downloadable Updates. This will give you a list of updates that are available. Now you'll want to see what firmware is installed in your transmitter now. To see what firmware is installed on your transmitter, you'll hit the scroll wheel, go to the function list, go all the way down to the bottom to system setup. You're going to click your scroll wheel again, disable, yes. You go all the way down to the bottom here to about section. You're going to hit your scroll wheel again. This will give you a serial number and what firmware is installed on the transmitter. One of the great features. Uh, the new NX radios by Spectrum is the Wi-Fi capability of the transmitter. With that, you actually can update your transmitter via Wi-Fi. You'll hit your scroll button. You're going to scroll down to the very bottom to system setup. Disable, yes. You go to Wi-Fi utilities now. Go down towards the bottom. Click your scroll wheel. Connect to a network. Pick what network you want to connect to. 
you'll have to put the uh, password in. And then once you put your password in, connect. Once you're connected, hit continue. Now once you're connected, you'll log in with your username and password from your Spectrum RC. Once you have your username and password from your Spectrum RC account, you'll hit log in. Go down, check for updates. And here you'll see it has a list of updates. It has 3.041, 3.0303, and showing that it has a 3.0303 installed right now. So there is an update available for this radio. So we'll go here and click on it. There you have it. It is downloading the latest update to the radio via Wi-Fi. Once the transmitter is done downloading the new update, you will hit install. At this time, you will install the new update to the transmitter. There you have it. Your transmitter is fully updated to the latest firmware via Wi-Fi. Another way to update your transmitter is via SD card. This one here takes the micro SD card. Do it by plugging it in the bottom of the transmitter down here. Once you have it in, hit your scroll wheel. Go down to the very bottom, system setup. Go click that, disable, yes. Go to the very bottom to about, click on that. Here I'll have your serial number and also your firmware. What you'll do is you'll export. This will export your serial number to the micro SD card. Hit OK. Take your micro SD card out. You'll go to Spectrum RC, to My Spectrum, pick what transmitter you're wanting to download update for. We'll do the NX6. Here, hit Download Updates. Scroll down and see what updates are available for your transmitter. Pick the latest update. Download. You can see it's downloading to the computer right here. Once it's done, you're going to click on it, show in folder, so you can see where it is. And here, since we're going to use a SD card, we'll go ahead and drag it to where my SD card is, so it's not there now. So we'll double check it. There's my NX6 and also the update right there. Once you have the file downloaded to your SD card, also make sure when you're downloading it, it is spmtx.sax as your file name so the transmitter can read it right when you fire it up. So you're gonna install the SD card into the transmitter. Once you have that, go ahead and power it on. Right when you power it on, it'll read the update available on the SD card. Again, make sure you have it listed at spmtx.sax for the update. So it'll read it right when you fire the transmitter up. There you have it. Now your transmitter is all updated to the latest firmware. There's one final way left to update your transmitter. That is using a USB cable. You'll take the cable, hook that cable up from your transmitter to a computer, and I'll show you how. You'll actually take the cable itself, plug in the back of the transmitter, turn the transmitter on. Once the transmitter is on, you'll plug it into the computer then. You're going to click your scroll button, go all the way down to the very bottom to system setup. You'll click on that, disable RF, yes. You go down to the bottom here actually USB settings. You're going to click on that. You want to access internal storage. Click on that. Now you're going to your computer. Go to SpectrumRC.com. Go to your My Spectrum. We're doing the NX8. Download updates. Scroll down. You're going to pick the latest update. 
you will download that. As you see, it's downloading here. Once that's done, we're gonna click on the little arrow here to the right of it, show in folder. We wanna right click on it, because we want to copy it. And then we're gonna go to this computer, click on that, it'd be a left click. Then you'll double click on the USB drive. Once you clicked on that, you actually entered the internal storage of the radio. Here you'll actually paste the update here. As you see, it's downloading the update in here. One thing with this is once we have it pasted in here in the internal storage of the radio, we'll unhook it, turn the radio off, and once you turn the radio on, it'll actually initialize this setup. So again, once we've pasted this, it'll download in the internal storage of the transmitter itself, turn the transmitter off, unplug it from the computer, and turn it back on, that'll initialize the update for you. A few more seconds here for the update to be downloaded. There you have it, it's downloading. You can see right here, the SPMTX SAX. That's the file for the update. So we'll go ahead and close this off. Over here on the transmitter, we're going to back out of the mass storage, back out of here as well. And we'll turn the transmitter off. We're going to unplug the transmitter from the computer. Now we're going to turn the transmitter on. There you have it, initializing update. That's how you update and register the new NX radios by Spectrum. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and other helpful ideas about your Horizon product.